What's up, party people? It's time to talk about another one of Decron's updates. Now, I'm not going to lie, going straight into this update, it is mostly pay-to-win junk. So, I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but there is two little pieces at the end that I think are very important. So, make sure you watch and you uh, see what I'm talking about towards the end of the video. So, let's start at the beginning, though. So, there's a new hero-type costume. Um, I don't think it's a new design, from my understanding. It's probably something that's remade, just because we barely get new designs anymore anyway. Uh, but I'm not for sure, or I'm not sure on that. Um, it's a crest costume, but like the ones in the past, uh, you like kill monsters and it triggers stats. So you have A, B, C, and D. Um, a actually is, I mean... It's pretty good, not gonna lie, like in terms of like what you get. So like 8% attack, 8% crit rate, uh, 8% HP, 3% DDR, you know, stuff like that. And then it goes down as you go. But like usual with these with these uh, massive pay to win updates, there's no way to actually like farm it in game. What you have to do is you gotta buy a box in the D shop. And what's so annoying about this is like you buy the box and the box itself is like, I think like five bucks or something like that. And there's, eight different items in the box and if you want the costume there's only like only there's only like half the chance to get the costume but then on top of that i'm sure the a and the b's are like very rare so i'm sure you have to spend a ton of money to actually get these crest costumes which is dumb um i'm also kind of upset that with the last attendance event that uh, you know to get that uh like there's like a ninja costume and like a mask costume or whatever we only had like two weeks to get those coins so if you didn't get it and it was just random then there's no way to get it so uh, either you didn't get the costume last week or you're going to have to pay a bunch of money to get the costume this week. Um, the only good thing is that the box is tradable and everything in here is tradable. So if enough people are spending money, you might be able to snag one off another player, uh, you know, if you buy it with like races or something like that. But overall, not very happy with that. Uh, hopefully the costumes look okay. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I, I might try to buy a costume D off of someone just because I hate the soccer costume for my wizard. So I can maybe look a little different. I don't know. But overall, not so good. Now, <sighs> the T4 crest boxes that are in this random box... Um, this is upsetting to me. So they added, so as you know, last week they like reduced the PVP res on like a lot of different items, right? So in general, people have less PVP res, but then they go and they add crests that have higher PVP res. So instead of 6%, now they have an 8% for the uh, blue and then for the orange instead of, uh, what was it like 12 or 13 before? Now it's 15 so it's like, okay, I'm going to reduce your the items that you paid for in the first place and then give you a new item that you have to buy in order to get back to where you were before. That is just super greedy and very upsetting. I'm not going to lie, that makes me really mad. I think it's horrible. Um, that is some serious pay-to-win BS right there, not going to lie. Very, very unhappy with that. Um, I'm also unhappy that the crests are only in the D shop. I think there should be a way to farm them in game, especially since for PvP, they're such key items. Having a good crest costume makes or breaks you in PvP. So the fact that you can't actually just like farm them in game, you have to either buy them from another player or you have to spend a bunch of money. I mean, that's just dumb. And then like, look at this list. And th this is so greedy because before they would add the random box and they just had all the new crests in it. Now... They add the they add the crest box and they have all the old ones from from the uh, from the third one and then all the new ones. So you have even less of a chance of getting a crest that you actually want. So greedy. So like they they just made this as greedy as they possibly could. They just want money. This is 100% milk players for money. Don't actually give them a way to farm it. Uh, this is probably one of the more mo most pay to win updates besides maybe the Wings of the Ruler that they've had recently. Um, so. Pretty, pretty bad. Not gonna lie. This one's pretty upsetting, and I don't want to spend too much time on it. Just papaya being greedy like usual, no surprise there. Uh, they added the cacao and the gold tristy box. Now, they added cacao. You need it for the final upgrade of the deck line ring, which is dumb. I don't know why they did that in the first place. It, it should have just been seeds like it was from the beginning. They're just trying to get people to spend money again, once again. So the only way to get cacaos are, you guessed it, from a D shop related item. So you need keys and you need to get them in the gold box and then you can get your cacao. So uh, the deck line ring, which should have been obtainable for any new player because they need PVE damage res to do good in the game, now is only obtainable if you spend money 
or buy the keys from other players, which is expensive. So let's see. Let's see. What do we got so far? We've got pay to win, pay to win, and more pay to win. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Okay, there are a couple highlights at the end here. So, so let's take a look. The rebalancing from the previous balance. Um, they did add some kind of cool stats to the Master Wedding Ring. They added a cancel abnormal res 5%, which is um, kind of nice because I know a lot of classes can't get off their stuns anymore or their sleeps because people stack so much abnormal res. So if they stack a couple wedding or Master Wedding Rings now, they might be able to break through that. And then additional PvP attack. The Master Wedding Ring wasn't really being used anymore for the most part. So hopefully this will make it more useful for PvP. Um, the 1,000 PvP attack will be very uh, good for a lot of people. So that's awesome. And they did, people were really upset about the Legendary Dragon Necklace, like the second thing being changed from one um, to two. Um, uh, so they, they did change that back, it looks like. So that's good. Um, and they, uh, but the PvP still dropped from 7 to 6, um, as well as with the the uh, sealed spell dragons as well. is still down to, I think, 3 or 4 or something like that. So they dropped PvP res and added in higher gems. Super pay to win. Um, the one thing that they didn't main mention here is the exchange option at that NPC aria or whatever was messed up before. You couldn't do your, your moon earrings or like a bunch of other stuff, but they did fix all of that now. So you can go there and you can upgrade. I managed to upgrade my half moon to a full moon after like 20 attempts or something like that. So I was pretty happy about that. I've never had a full moon, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah. And then the last thing is PVP balance patch plan. We heard you. We received various feedbacks and opinions about the previous P previous PvP uh, balance patch. As we talked, this is only the start of a long-term plan balance adjustment. The large-scale balance patch, mostly on classes, has been worked on and verified by the developers. This patch will be applied to our servers before the end of the month. Um, so apparently there's going to be a class balance, which will be really interesting. We'll see what they do to people's characters. Um, I don't know. Based on how this has gone so far, it makes me a little nervous to kind of see what they're going to do. Um, just because most of the time, balances don't go very well in this game. I'm not going to lie. I haven't <laughs> I, I haven't seen it go well. Usually if a character is too strong, they like nerf the crud out of them and make them useless. So we'll just, we'll see what they do. Hopefully it's a good balance. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know about this update. Overall, I would say the only thing that's really worth it is maybe trying to buy one of these costumes from another player. And if you have a bunch of money in game, you could try to find people selling some of these new gems. But in terms of actual content, eh, really bad. Pay to win, uh, not, not too exciting. Um, I get excited for maintenance, and after reading this, it kind of put me down a little bit. Anyway, I hope that this uh, PvP balance change makes the game more fun. That would be really cool. I would love to see that. Uh, so we'll see what happens going forward. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, you can leave them in the comments. I appreciate all the support, guys. And until next time, take care.